In this video, we're going to be using Lothar White and the Bic Metal Razor for a dome shave. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back and welcome in folks. Welcome to the Stone Shave. And you know, during the head shaves, I don't come with a lot of information. I'm just doing a shave for enjoyment. And today we're gonna be using the Bic Metal Razor, which was sent to us by our good friend, Kim Gray. And this is a cart razor disposable. And it has like a little metal bar there on the end and one single blade. So this is not a multi-blade cart and we'll see how this goes today. Thank you, Kim, for sending it. We're also gonna be using Lothar White. And let me tell you, this has an incredible scent. This is a collaboration with the razor company from Lothar Grooming and it is phenomenal, both in quality and scent. I don't care what Marion the Barbarian says, this soap, I almost dropped the tub there. <laughs> this soap is fantastic. I love the scent. It will definitely be one of my favorite scents of 2022, even though I think it may have come out in 2021. It is phenomenal and I love it. Top rate. I had to grab it today because I was just like, I got to use that Lothar White. It is fantastic. So we look forward to using that. We didn't take the time to make a show lather today. We don't have extra lighting in here. We're just going to enjoy a shave. And uh, that's the key to these head shaves when I record one. It's just for sheer enjoyment. And we are just misting the dome here. And we'll start applying our Lothar. The brush for today is the West Coast Shaving uh, Honeycomb, I believe, series brush. And again, we did not seek to make a show lather today. We just made a very quick lather, the Lothar, but I believe it's going to be just fine. You can see it's sort of almost like a, eh, kind of almost, it's it's not dark, but it's not exactly white, lily white either. It has sort of a some tint to it, like chocolate milk, like a weak chocolate milk almost in color. I don't know how that comes across on video, but... There is some color in it because the soap itself in the tub is pretty dark, but man, it smells amazing. <laughs> I love the scent on this. And I, I know, you know, we've, we've given Marion a hard time because he was really looking forward to this scent. And then he said, I think he said he didn't get as much uh, tiramisu, as much of the tiramisu accord as he expected based on the fragrance. But fortunately, I had the luxury of not having smelled the fragrance this is based on. And I don't remember what it is. And so I can just evaluate it based on, does it smell great or not? And the answer is yes, it smells great. So if you get a chance to pick this up when it's in stock at the Razor Company, it is worth picking up. I love this scent. It, it is definitely one of my favorite scents, even though I've only used it one time before this. I smell it every now and then. I'm like, man, what a phenomenal scent. Anyway, that's good enough. We don't have to worry about lathering all day. Let's see how our Bic here, the metal Bic, uh, treats us. And hopefully it will treat us well, or at least allow us to get a great head shave. And I hope you're all doing well today. Let's pull down this ear and sort of get around that. And so far, it doesn't feel bad at all. This is not one of those cumbersome heads. You know, it's quite uh, small. And that is a plus. It doesn't feel super clunky. Like some of the cart razors have those giant heads on them. This is not one of those because it just has the one blade. The question will be... How close do we get with it? It is very light, as you might imagine. Be mostly plastic and just a little bit of metal. But uh, it's shaving, that much I can tell you. Doesn't feel bad, I'll tell you that much. Now my daily driver for head shaving is the Leaf, and you saw the um, promotion at the beginning of the video for Leaf because they are a sponsor of this channel. And uh, that is the razor I use the most. Um, I use that razor probably at least um, I shave my head uh, between four and five times a week, and I use that razor probably four out of the five times or three out of the four times, depending on how many times I do it per week. That is my daily driver, the Leaf. Um, but I do like to try other things for head shaving too. And this feels pretty good, I gotta say, so far. I just don't know, um, I won't know until I feel my head how close I'm getting. Because sometimes I do think the multiple blades help a little bit, I know some people don't like multiple blades, but I think sometimes they do aid, especially for me for head shaving. Um, 
for face shaving, you know, I don't really need multiple blades and I don't think you need it for head shaving either. But sometimes having those extra blades in there, you know, makes it go a little quicker, I think. Of course, I could be wrong on that. <laughs> uh, so far, this feels pretty good. No problems as of yet. We'll see if we get any sort of clogging or anything like that. I don't expect to really to, to have any issues, to be honest, but the question will be, how close are we getting? And, and again, I won't know that until we uh, sort of start feeling around after I finish this uh, pass here. And hopefully we're doing some, some good uh, cutting there. It does feel pretty good to me. This is, again, the Bic Metal Razor, and what did I do? Did I nick something there? Yeah, I have a bump right there that I nicked. Well, that's unusual. You don't see that much on the channel, <laughs> especially on the dome. But yeah, there is a bump right there that I uh, scalped. So that bump didn't need to be there anyway. So sorry about that. Uh, exposing you to the blood. You don't see that often on this channel, but of course we are human. And if there's a bump, I will lop it right off. I won't think twice about it, <laughs> especially on the dome. And head shaving is a little bit more difficult than face shaving because all of your work is done above, you know, your shoulder level. So if you think of all the things you do during the day, how much of it is done above your shoulders with your hands? Maybe you're reaching to put a plate away in a cabinet or something like that. But for the most part, you uh, do things more down towards your waist level. So shaving up high like this is not really intuitive. And so it adds a little bit of difficulty. Of course, um, when you're shaving your face, it's also, you know, it's up a little higher than your waist, but the, the razor's still here as opposed to all the way up there. And uh, that does, to me, adds a little bit of difficulty, although it is certainly not rocket science and anyone who wants to do it can do it. <laughs> Just a matter of taking the time. Um, but there's a little learning curve, I would say. Just getting to know, you know, your head and the little bumps and the, you know, pulling back your ears and just trying to avoid uh, making mistakes. And a lot of it you don't see because it's back here, you know. I'd say half of the shave you don't, you don't see, you're just feeling. So, speaking of feeling, let's feel around a little bit here and see how we do. Wow, that's surprisingly not too bad. Let's uh, go ahead and re-lather and uh, we'll missed first and we'll try not to yeah that bump there is still going but we'll just try to ignore that you'll see that from time to time i don't typically nick myself a lot but if there's a bump i will uh cut it from time to time i didn't even know that bump was there but i do now <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, read lather and do a little second pass here some sort of from back to front and see how that goes i have to say uh it felt pretty good, the the uh, the razor there. I can't remember what Kim sent these costs. I'll look them up on Amazon and link them uh, below. But man, this soap is fantastic. It is absolutely terrific. The scent on this is phenomenal. Definitely one of my favorite scents. Uh, I can say this, it's early in 2022. So we're in February. And I can tell you right now, this scent is good enough that it will be in my best scents of the year. I am positive because it's just, for me, it's an unusual scent. Or at least it's one I haven't smelled before because I wasn't familiar with the fragrance. But the fragrance is fantastic. And again, maybe if you're a fragrance guy and you've got the real, you know, fragrance, maybe it's not a, an exact duplicate of that. But here's something to remember. This was inspired by whatever that fragrance is. It didn't say it was a duplicate. So keep that in mind. Inspired by means, you know, we've taken some inspiration from it. It doesn't mean it's a dupe or a duplication. So I know... Some people disagree with me on that, but to me, there's a difference between inspired and a more of a straight dupe or attempt at duplication. I don't know that this was a dupe. This was listed as inspired, I believe. So keep that in mind when you evaluate some of these fragrances that, uh, you know, the intent may not be to replicate it 100%. Maybe it's just meant to get close and maybe they're taking some creative license and putting some other things in there or, or even leaving some things out. So inspired does definitely does not mean a duplication. Um, they are two different words entirely with two different meanings. So keep that in mind. Very nice. So far, I have to say this feels pretty good. The old Bic metal with the single blade there, not bad at all. 
It's very small, so it feels very nimble and maneuverable. It's very light. I'm gonna go over here and work around the ear. I like to work around my ears first a lot of times just because that's the toughest area. My ears set very close to my face, so sometimes if I'm looking straight forward, you can barely see my ears because they don't stick out far at all. Um, so when I'm shaving around my ears, I have to hold them down. And I'll see like Subi from Subi Shades and he'll just be zipping around his ears and I'm like, man, I would lock my ears off if I did that. Because mine sat very close. <laughs> like I said, when I look dead on, it's hard to see my ears because they, they are not sticking out like DC taxi cab with the doors open. <laughs> Some people have a little more space between their ears and their head, uh, not me. Uh, whether it's good or not, I don't know. <laughs> but it is what it is. And wow, wait, this scent on the soap is just fantastic. And you can see that uh, bump there is still not happy with me. That's okay. After the shave, we'll, uh, we'll put some alum on it and that will bring that to a close. So no worry at all about that. But I have to say, I'm, I'm fairly pleased with this little bick here. It, it's shaving better than I expected. I expected to be feeling around and feeling a bunch of stuff that I have to go over and over and over. And uh, really, I'm not getting that, so that's pretty cool. And I've already talked, you know, in glowing terms about the soap. And it is just phenomenal. Let's uh, do our tough spot right here. That right there is one of my toughest areas to get. It's very hard to get the hair right there. And I will try not to go over that little spot again, so we'll sort of shave around that a little bit, just so I don't continue to aggravate it. So I have a spot there for six months. <laughs> Who wants to see that every day? Let's just work around that just a little bit, if I can see where it is. I'm shaving sort of in the viewfinder of the camera here, because my, my mirror is way back. So. I'm just sort of trying to shave around that just a little bit there and that'll be close enough. All right, good enough for now. So let's feel around just a little bit and I'll do my post off cam just to save time. But I have to say, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. I expected this to be a razor that I would feel around and feel like I had to do a million strokes. But I have to say, I'm single edge. It's got that little safety bar. At the end, it wasn't bad at all. Thank you, Kim. This is a, a razor that, you know, I think I would use from time to time. It's not absolute BBS, but if I worked at it and do, did some touching up, it would be. So this wasn't bad. And I'll link it below again on Amazon. I don't know how much it costs, but this was a pretty nice shave today. And of course, you know how I feel about the Lothar White. Spectacular. This is just phenomenal. If you get a chance to get your hands on it, man, it is really great. And uh, after I do the uh, cleanup and the post, I'm gonna apply this as well and we are gonna be smelling great today. And I hope wherever you are, you have a great shave. I hope you smell great, I hope you look great, and I hope everything is well with you. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I've been your host CDB reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.